Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we want to talk about warden attacks or more about like what happens if you do not have the warden and what attacks should you use to not only get loot but get 3 stars as well and you can at the same time practice a little bit more for your war attacks. Everything in this video so let's go. The first attack and the first strategy we want to take a look at is going to be Queen Charge Dragons. Overall, if you do not have access to the Warden, Queen Charge is the thing to do on Town Hall 12. You can use this actually on pretty much any Town level, but especially for Town Hall 12, it's really, really important to use a second phase. For example, something which you use after the Queen Walk or the Queen Charge to actually get rid of the Town Hall, because the Town Hall itself you can't always charge the town hall. Sometimes you need to, well, I don't know, take out the eagle may be more important or air defense, whatever you need to do. Um, and this means the town hall itself could kill something like hawk riders, lalo attack, etc, etc. So this means we need something which is in addition to the queen charge and is really strong with the queen charge as well and can't get killed by the giga bomb. With this, the answer is kind of simple that we have a couple of options there and one of them is going to be the dragons. First off, you're trying to queen charge mostly targets like the enemy queen, eagle or the town hall. That's like your main objectives, except that you obviously go for something like expos, air defenses and stuff like this, because this is hurting your dragons as well. After this, you can use, or like for this, you can use your jump spell, you can use your war breakers to get deeper into the base and you normally use the slammer to, co um, to actually support your dragons. First off, after I took out the enemy CC, I can start with my dragons because dragons are kinda slow. This means we can't wait too long for our queen charge to take out too much of the base because otherwise we might run out of time. This is why I need to start the dragons kinda early. And now, once again, because we're using a smaller group of dragons, it's really easy for them, um, or like it's not that I don't know how to say that, but it's not, not that bad if the Warden um, aura is missing. I'm not talking about the ability itself of the Warden, I'm talking just about the aura, like the bonus HP he's providing to the troops which are in his, his range, basically. Meanwhile, the Queen is still charging into the last Inferno Tower. We're using a couple of free spells just to make sure if we are running into single Inferno Towers, we do not get stopped by them. Except that we're taking out the last air defense and this attack is going to be a really nice triple. We have still five dragons alive out of eight, which isn't too bad if you're considering that we do not have a warden ability to actually protect them from black mines and air defenses in, in general. So this attack is going to be the first attack I want to show you guys. We can speed through the rest of the attack and immediately jump into the next one and talk a little bit about um, what strategies you guys might want to use. The next strategy is actually kind of similar to our first one. It's going to be once again a queen charge in combination with Electro Dragons. Um, in the end, when I highlight once again all of our um, strategies we took a look at, um, I will try to explain a little bit more deeply, but I can already mention now that all of those strategies I'm right now showing, you can use without a queen charge as well. That's no problem, but I will try to explain as well why I think a queen charge is way stronger because a queen charge normally um, is based on two things. First off, the queen charge itself, and then you try to get an as easy funnel as possible because if the funnel is too expensive, like actually getting your queen into the right direction and this is too expensive, you can't really invest too much into the second phase, which is normally something like Hawk Riders, Lalo, Dragons, Electro Dragons, Miner, stuff like this. and you, it means you have less of those. With having the queen and the king and the warden under construction, you have two of the most important things, or like the two most important things for a queen charge. You have the funnel, the easy funnel with the king, and you have the queen charge itself, like the queen. And this means queen charges, in my opinion, are the best way on actually um, using to farm really effective if your warden is under construction. So on this one it's kind of tricky to actually get into the base because we have the single front towers over there and need to kind of early start with Electro Dragons, not only because they are slow, but as well because we do not want to have our queen getting into the range of the um, second single front tower. We already lost quite some healers, I think we have only one healer still alive, which is a little bit um, annoying, but we should have our queen ability left, 
which we can use to take out the enemy town hall. Now it's all about the electric dragons and maybe it looks a bit like we won't make it, but all those buildings are so close to each other that we will get huge bounces onto them and our queen is actually still alive, even though there's only one healer left. But you guys can see, there are really nice bounces on uh, on those electro dragons, or like for those electro dragons, and we still have a free spell left to reset the inferno tower, which is targeting one of our electro dragons. As well, or like one thing which are freezing as well is the eagle itself. Meanwhile, our queen is doing some really important stuff, like always uh, the like that's what the queen is doing, right? So we should have our electro dragons on the right side. Our electro dragon in the middle will die really soon. But we have our dragons on the right side, which are going to clean this base up. And this is going to be once again a triple and really nice loot attack as well. So this is going to be our second attack and our second strategy. I have one more to go to show to you guys. And the last attack is going to be, surprise, once again, Queen Charge. The reason why I like Queen Charge is not only for farming, but in general attacking is... Um, first off, when you're doing this in farming, you're getting better in war. That's like the first thing. And the second thing is, like I said, you have the two most important things for queen charges. And then you need something um, for the back end of the base, which is not getting affected by the town hall. If you're not going to queen charge the town hall, you might need a troop which is actually being able to take out the town hall. Um, with having loons or, for example, hawk riders not surviving the giant bomb without the warden ability, we can't really use those, which means we need to take something else, for example, the dragons or electric dragons, or if you're more like a ground attacker, you can use the miners as well. So on this one, we have once again a queen charge filled with a double ice golem and baby dragons you see in our ram, just to make sure that our queen is being healthy, getting through the first phase because we have not too many spells and we do not have any free spells on this army this is why this is kind of risky because well our queen can kind of easily die against single front towers but for now our queen is staying alive and doing her thing taking out the town on this one but i think the most important thing is normally to try to take out is the eagle because i'm not taking out the eagle this attack will be really tough for me so let's check out how i'm doing the next step i'm using my king for funneling the miners and make sure that my miners are actually going inside of the base starting off the miners and well i do not have the warden to buff them up and i think the miners are most likely the worst of those those three strategies just because we have so many of them which might confuse a couple of people but if you have more of those troops the warden is more effective because he's getting uh, everyone beefed up and getting like a huge hp boost to all of those Minus all of those troops, which means if you have more troops, the HP boost is better used. For example, for our miners, we have around about 24 to 26 miners, which means for every single miner, we have a lot of HP, which is missing because of the one. But at the same time, the miners are a troop which can survive the back end of a queen charge without the warden ability because they can just like duck uh, under the town hall if the explosion might um, go up. So this is the reason why I'm choosing miners and well, all of those armies, which I just highlighted to use can be used as a mass version as well. But we will take a look at that in the end screen when I'm showing to you once again, all of the three armies and what in my opinion is the best, the second best and the worst of the three strategies. Okay. As you guys could see, we have those three strategies and well, all of those strategies, which I just highlighted, can be used as a mass version as well. Which means we could use mass electric dragons, we could use mass dragons, we could use mass miners, just for farming without the one. That's possible to use, but, and that's a big but, is because we, like, we want to first have fun with farming, and I think that's more easy if you use something challenging. And second of all, we can train for war with having a more challenging attack. Like mass miners, yes, you can do that, but that's, that's just like spamming in and brain AFK farming. That's totally fine as well. And once again, as soon as I'm coming to the ranking, I will show you guys where the mass versions is located as well. But in my opinion, the queen charges are way more fun and more powerful as well. So let's rank those bad boys. The first and like the first from, from behind, the last spot is going to the queen charge miners 
that's pretty simple. Not only they're one of the more expensive um, armies overall, but they're just having too much uh, bonus with the warden. Like 25 miners with every single miner having a boost in their HP, that's a lot of HP which is missing. So Queen Charge Miner is possible, but just not the strongest. Mass Miners is strong as well, but as well that would be on number three if we would compare the, those mass attacks. The number two spot is Queen Charge Electro Dragons. And once again, if we would compare the mass um, compositions as well, Electro Dragons would be still number two. Why is that the case? Well, it's kind of simple. First off, Electro Dragons are really base dependent, which means if the base is not that compact, you will have a lot of issues with the Electro Dragons. And as well, if there are air skeletons, you will have issues as well. And as well, they're a little bit more expensive than dragons. That's another thing which is important. So this means we have our number one spot with the Queen Charge Dragons, not only one of the strongest armies in the game overall, but as well really strong army to use if you're not having your warden up to help farming. And if we, like I said, take a look at all of those, those three armies with the mass option, like mass miners, mass electric, mass dragons, it would be the same order. Number three, mass miners. Number two, mass electric dragons. Number, uh, number one, yes, um, would be the mass dragons. So this is the ranking. I hope you guys like this episode and let me know what do you think about which is the best army. Do you guys have your ward under construction right now? What army do you use? And will you maybe try one of my top three strategies for this? And like I said, with those strategies, you're not only farming, you're training already for your war attacks as well, which in my opinion is a really nice thing. Always like keep the practice going because in the end we all play to have fun and winning is the most fun. So I will see you guys in the next video to help you guys get a bit better and hopefully have more fun in the game.